Our top story tonight, Bacon Bibb County plans to spend more than $18 million from the American Rescue Plan on some of the county's most persistent problems. That's about a quarter of the funding the county is slated to receive from the federal government. Ashlyn Webb joins us in studio. And Ashlyn, you spoke with the mayor about how he hopes to spend that money. Yes, Mayor Miller says he wants to spend money in some of the areas that were hit hardest by the pandemic. Some priorities include affordable housing, blight, homelessness, and food programs. The largest chunk of the first distribution of the county's rescue plan money could go to one of the county's biggest priorities right now, blight elimination. We've seen dozens of demolitions this year, but we could see more with this funding. Miller wants to set $5 million aside for demolitions and building new homes. We don't want to just tear houses down. We want to build the communities back up. And one way to do that is to have uh, revolving loan funds. And we can loan people to repair property in their own neighborhoods, to build new property in their own neighborhoods. The mayor also says the county needs more affordable housing options. So he proposes $600,000 go toward historic Macon and $1 million to Newtown Macon. We're hoping to get a match on that. $1 million around 10 or 12 homes doubles to about 24 homes in a short period of time. Uh, with the historic foundation, $600,000, they were going to do 30 to 40 houses over a five year period of time. We can double that with a match and get $1.2 million so we can do 60 to 80 houses. And while the county wants to build houses up, they also want to get folks off the street. The mayor wants to put a total of $4 million toward the Brookdale Warming Center. The ordinance says it would be used for staffing, equipment, upgrades and more. 600 people have come through there, staying anywhere from two days up to 90 days. Uh, 100 jobs have been uh, provided through the Brookdale Warming Center. Some of those may be multiple jobs by the same person, but 100 jobs. 45 people have received housing through there and 25 people have received a bus ticket back home reuniting them with their family. If the commission passes this breakdown of funding, $1 million could also go toward addressing the county's food desert areas, $500,000 for household assistant food programs, and $1 million for Middle Georgia Community Food Bank. A lot of the food that you see behind me here is donated, but some of that food is also purchased. While people were forced to quarantine at home, another big area that suffered in the pandemic includes tourism. Mayor Miller says he wants to put $3 million of the rescue money towards Visit Megan to boost tourism to its pre-pandemic levels. Because those are our tax dollars, those are jobs coming into our community, and those are much needed resources that we need. The mayor says he wants to set $2 million aside for community intervention to prevent violent crime through their MVP program, Megan Violence Prevention. Frank Lori, back to you. Thank you, Ashlyn. The county is slated to see a total of $75 million in rescue funds.